What's going on, Scorpio? This, this is your Scorpio full moon reading. Uh, so I was out kayaking the other day and I had a bunch of images come to mind that were kind of speaking to the different signs. And um, what came to mind when it was time for yours was uh, I I was paddling past this cedar. So I was I was kayaking in an old quarry. Uh, it, it was It's a conservation area now, but... Um, it had, there were trees and things that had fallen from the tops of the limestone cliffs downwards and a whole cedar had fallen into the water and it, it was still green in some parts. Um, but there was sediment of, I guess, a season or so on top of it, um, at different parts. And I, I had tapped it with my paddle and the sediment fell off and underneath the sediment, it was this brilliant green, like it was somehow still growing underwater. Um, and it was like breaking the surface too. Like it was in a semi shallow part. It was probably about, um, I want to say like 10, 15 feet deep. Um, so it was, it was deep, but simultaneously it was, um, it was so fascinating to me because it was just, it was still alive underwater. And I felt like there was something in this here where it was like, you're, you're very much alive. Like there's some way that you've been, um, you've been growing underwater and, and it's sort of like growth from the deeps, from the depths and, and this like beating the odds and kind of like showing others what growth can mean. Right. And, and water is a pretty good place to grow if you need to drink it. <laughs> so there is that, but there's also this way that I was just in awe of the fact that the cedar looked, um, and honestly, like, because I'm like a toddler, I felt that I reached into the freezing cold water and I felt it and it didn't fall apart or anything. It still felt, um, felt as solid as it would have, um, above ground. So there was just something about feeling submerged, but you're still growing there. So we'll see what, uh, what is up with that Scorpio. But, uh, first, before we do, I would like to invite the angels, my guardian angels, my spirit guides, protectors, teachers, and their healing energy to this space. And I ask that it is a safe and brave space that allows for the fullest expression of our light, humanity, ascension, and healing. Okay. So this is the journey of love Oracle, but yeah, that's cedar. It was just so interesting to me, um, that it looks like it was covered intimacy yeah, it's like maybe like maybe uncovering like there's something some way that you're being seen like there's a way that you're being seen or there's some way that you feel that I don't know like I just get this image of like when I was knocking the sediment off I was just so taken with what I saw there and now that I'm seeing the intimacy card I'm thinking well maybe what if that applies like is that a person that's seeing that for you oh sorry my sunburn is really itchy <laughs> Um, yeah, I got, it's, I had a little bit too much fun. It's much better now. <laughs> it was like glowing <laughs> the day it happened, but, um, apparently SPF 30 is just not enough for this delicate little flower I am. Um, anyway, spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? I'm really having a hard time shuffling here. Guardian of the soul family. You are protected. That's what I'm feeling. There's some way, like, the odds of a tree continuing to grow underwater like that. And, and like, growing such that they are breaking the surface, too. Like, that to me was so interesting. And just the ways that trees can sustain life in in so many different conditions is is and and be still alive is is mind-blowing so it's almost like there's some kind of um guardian energy around you or within you that's really okay that's not even a shuffle thank you um that's really helping you to remember what it means to grow like this could also just be like a past thread oh my goodness this sunburn um I feel like there's this past thread to this that could be the case, like that could, uh, could also be why, um, why you have grown. Like maybe there's, 
um, an ancestor or something along those lines that is watching over you and helping you to grow still. She is the moon. I just thought, um, I heard, I, I heard you were connecting with a fire sign because I heard, so <laughs> I don't know how my brain works. It's wonderful. I love that spirit does this. So I, I heard she is the moon. So I read she is the moon. Then I heard, um, connecting with a fire sign. And then I saw, um, the, the sun and then I saw Leo, but then I was like broadly fire. And then I saw the Aries, um, the sign for Aries emblazoned on the sun. Interesting. Let the feminine lead the way. Let the feminine lead the way. I'm going to read this intimacy card to you. Your vulnerability is the key to your growing spiritually. Now is the time to share yourself openly without pretense or defensiveness. Let down the barriers that have held you apart from another, from the divine, from the world, and let yourself be held by the experiences of your life without needing to defend against them. Expect nothing and be open to receive everything. Your vulnerability is your way forward now. You're learning that you have enough strength to truly surrender. You are brave enough to allow yourself to truly be lived by, to truly, to be truly lived by the divine. Ooh, sorry about that. The message of this oracle is that you have recently opened yourself up in new ways to meet the world and your loved ones or are considering doing so in order to share something of yourself with another. Do it. You are ready to be seen and received more than ever before. Yeah. That's wonderful. I think this is just about staying open to possibility. Um, staying open to possibility. And growth. It's almost like there's like an emotional intimacy that's allowing you to grow an emotional intimacy that's allowing you to grow facilitating growth maybe no. I know I can hear people going but they fell you should take them I felt a pull not to <laughs> it's okay it's okay the sun there's the sun i knew that was like there's so that's leo in the fifth house i feel like this is the emotional intimacy piece is really key right now which might make people be like Ugh. but trust me it's a good thing so we have the sun king of swords we also have the six of wands the knight of wands and the two of swords so i'm getting that there's kind of a there's a okay one more there's oh three of wands okay Ooh, and the high priestess oh my gosh i need to stop uh, i wanted to take two more because i took the two that I, I dropped two and i didn't pick them up so i wanted to take an extra two for you um so we have the sun the king of swords the six of wands and the knight of wands a lot of fire energy here. 
lots of fire Scorpio. So it's almost like this, it's like there's something that you, so broadly speaking, this denotes passion to me. But I think that there's a way that you've maybe been um, thinking or overthinking about something. There's like a thought process here. Uh, and it is a, like it's a it's a sense of clarity like you know what you want and you know how you want to go about it but there's still some confusion um, there's still information that you don't yet know and there's still like this sort of weighing your options up um, there's like a weighing up of your options here three of wands is like a positive expectation card but it's still you're not in the water you're on the shore looking at it uh, and I think the high priestess is this sort of knowing it, it's like it's safe for you to do more than dip your toe in the water like you can go and finally surf a wave or two right like your wave is coming in just trust that you just have to trust that right now um, and the high priestess uh, energy represents um, the moon my goodness it represents the moon um it could be a little cancer or pisces energy but this is more i think to do with the full moon there's i feel like there's a i don't think there's a something that you've been avoiding necessarily 11 11 on the time there isn't something that you've been avoiding necessarily it's just like there's a way that it's like thinking about something that that is it's like the the thinking about the manifestation like it has been more productive than it like it's felt more comfortable than than knight of wands in it and just going for it so there's something that's been more comfortable about that uh, but i feel like you're kind of being pushed into um into going for something into riding a wave into surfing one to finding that one right um, yeah, there's something about the energy that's like pushing you into this so far for signs. We have, uh, I'm, there's Leo and, um, the moon, but that depends on how you read that. But, uh, a chunk of fire here, like the sun, uh, the six of wands, the knight of wands and the three of wands, the lovers and queen of swords. Whoa. Whoa. Um, immediately on the queen of swords, I'm getting that there's this, like, that's the protective energy. This could be an aunt that you had who's watching over you right now. It could be an aunt. Uh, there's lover's energy. So this is Gemini. So guardian of the soul family. Um, this energy to me is a bit about, um, choices. Like there's choices that you've made or are making, um, some decisions this is like that two of swords energy like we're making a decision because there's more information that we have and i think it has to do with a connection uh that you have uh this could be at work or this could be romantically um, i'm inclined to believe romantically with the sun and the high priestess here but however it resonates for you um the queen of swords in this energy to me is one of like it's almost like just overseeing like there's the king of swords clarity and that's also thought and and possibly overthinking but i think the queen of swords is like real clarity on what you want to do with your heart ace of wands fell out yes um perhaps give it <laughs> give parts of it lean into the passion that's coming from it um it's like that. It's like romantic creativity. Romantic creativity. It's like that feeling safe, feeling safe to soar, safe to spread your wings, safe to spread those wings. So much fire energy here, Scorpio. Um, so I also, so that's the Gemini and Mercury. Um, lots of shuffling though. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we have the devil um, and we also have judgment and the hanged man.
I think you're going to be inclined to not trust a decision that you have to make in something like the high priestess tells me that there's like a knowing that we have about something and you're really not trusting it. So you're taking your time through it, which is a very wise decision. Piscean energy is very murky. It's not like you can't really tell. Um, it's like this decision that you're making Scorpio is one that is going to support you. Um, supporting you because through it, you're supporting yourself. Yeah. There's uh, Capricorn, Libra, and Pisces in this. Yeah. I'm getting that it's a bit of a decision about stories that you're telling yourself. Stories that you're telling yourself. I mean, the Ace of Wands and the Devil, too, could be, um, like, a friend with benefits that you've had. And there's, like, decisions that you have to make about what that means. I, I've i never been able to, to have people like that in my life. Like, I just can't do it. I, um, And, again, my readings, this space is sex positive. So this is not me being like, that person was a skateboard and, like, trying to make fun of them for that. No, we get to do what we want with our bodies, right? Um. But I feel like there's something that has been not so satisfying about this that has required some kind of intervention from your guides or ancestors. And I think that the guardian of your soul family has, there's some way that there's like communication taking place. Um, but it's like this choice, the lovers, it's not showing up as like romance in this. It's showing up as a choice that you have to make about this. Um, and sometimes that friends with benefits energy can come into um places like in, in the places like work and not because of doing things like that with workplaces because we're bringing that energy of like um very transactional exchanges into projects or workplaces or things that we're working on right um so it's it's really just about um I think it's like you're you're trying to choose yourself and it's like it's almost like you're remembering what it feels like and then you actually do it and it's just taking some time and i think that you're giving yourself um the opportunity to to let this sort of to let this come to you slowly it's i get this as like savoring the energy of remembering who you are like once you make that choice and decision once you you're like in it you get into this place of doing it like really and truly doing it um but like, there's no rush though. And I feel like that's, um, there's no rush though. And more, so further to the water point, I almost feel like this is like, it reminds me of the water, um, and the cedar underneath it. Like it reminds me of that so much, like this sort of changing green, um, and, and then like the green of the cedar bursting through, like, I almost feel like this is you. Um, this is Piscean energy. You could have Pisces in your chart somewhere, but this is also water energy because of Pisces and it being Neptune. Um, also higher octave of Venus as well in this card. So this could be a way that you're choosing yourself over this kind of like person that you've had. There's definite physical relationship here. Um, I see that for sure. Like this, this is someone that has been in your life in that capacity um, and maybe dipped in and out. This could also just be the Ace of Wands and the Devil. Could also be um, people who take ideas from you at work. People who take from you and they don't give you credit. They don't, you know, it, it's that kind of energy. Like that kind of, and it's like it, there's a benefit to you because they give you something for doing that. Um, like if there's some kind of bonus or whatever, they give you a cut of that. But then you never really get that attached to your name. I don't know what workplaces give bonuses anymore, but maybe the ones that do in sales or whatever, but there's just some way that this is, um, typically I wouldn't read stuff like that as, as that off. Cause it just means that, you know, someone's that's, that's how someone rolls. That's fine. If they want to, in terms of, um, having friends like that, but this to me is there's something off about it. There's something off. There's something off. This is what you're wanting. You're wanting the Ten of Pentacles. But I don't think that this person has given that to you or is capable. 
page of wands and death. Yeah. Um, I think this is a transformation of your expectations because you're seeing that the person that she has, that has been in your life, um, this is someone you've had a relationship with. This is like history. Um, this is not a situation ship necessarily. This is like someone that you've been doing things physically with, like in your life, which no judgment again, but this is like the transformation of your expectations because you want this. And this is you realizing that the only thing that you'll ever be able to get is the page of wands from this person, which isn't bad. It's just where they're at. And if you want something different, it is in your best interest to look for the 10 of pentacles. So this page energy is, is fine. That's okay. Um, but is it what you really want? Is it what you really want? Cause this is you showing up in your power here. This is you. This is you. And I get you. And there's like the star inside that healing, that hope, this is what you're moving more towards because I feel like there's something about the, this other situation that just hasn't been um, helpful for you. Spirit, can you please clarify she is the moon? Four of wands. Yeah, you want a commitment energy. And this could also be if this is work... This is like work that like, this is what you're capable of producing. And this is the, the projects that they give you. This is the projects that they give you. And this is what you're capable of producing, right? You're pr capable of producing something that's going to last for the long haul, um, like leaving a, a legacy. And I'm getting that this is the transformation of your perspective where you're really beginning to see um, that maybe you want to be doing more than tricks like a page, right? Um, maybe you want to be doing more than that. Ten of Wands. Good job. We're leaving that behind. <laughs> so she is the moon. There's something about the moon energy here that's helping you to realize some of these things and maybe release that. Um, release habits of uh, not speaking your mind. Maybe, um, not speaking about passion. Um, and I think that this four of wands commitment energy is what, is what you're able to move towards because you're leaving these burdens behind. You're leaving that, like that sense of like, well, at least I get to participate in the game, right? Like at least I get to participate in the game, but you want a freaking 10 of pentacles. So go towards the 10 of pentacles. Like why, why hold back, right? Why hold back? Yeah, the fool. Beautiful. This is progress. The fool is like you're taking that uh, you're taking that leap on something to do with intimacy. And yeah, this is more like this is like you you knowing what to invest in and what to walk away from. Mm hmm. Eight of Cups is really leaving behind this. It's almost like the Page of Wands in there. You're leaving that kind of energy behind and you're going towards things that honor your worth. And that's beautiful energy here, Scorpio. The Fool is like you taking a chance, but on yourself. It's you taking a chance on, it's you taking a chance on, on what makes you shine and your passions. This is Uranian energy. So like a little bit of a surprise, but also a, a change from the norm, I think. Spirit, can you please clarify this? Let the feminine lead the way. I feel like there's a part of the feminine that you may be, whoa, my ear's ringing. Ugh. Oh, that's so loud. Okay. Um, let the feminine lead the way. I get the impression that this is, um, you're healing this part of you, this feminine part of you. Um, big time. Mm-hmm. I was trying to think of like, I was reading the energy and just thinking how, and like, what does that have to do with anything? And, um, what I heard was the, how is not important. Like the, how we got here is not important in terms of what specifically needs to be healed. So I also get the impression that it's not my business. 
So Scorpio, you have some protective guides. <laughs> I don't know. It just, it wasn't like, it's not like, it's not important, right? So seven of cups. Chariot. I feel like you're a little confused at first because it's like it's it's like emotions there's so much here that it's like challenging for you to know but when you like to know how to put it into motion to the direction that you want but you also have the ten of cups here and the seven of cups is like what do I do with all of this what do I do with all these feelings Ugh. like you could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart um but it's just like this uh or air somewhere <laughs> but like it's like this there's so many different ways to go about this and then you it like it locks in and you're moving right towards your happy place right towards your happy ending and I mean happy ending can mean different things right like this could just be like meeting a deadline this could also be um you know finding yourself like applying for that job that you've seen posted it could mean um working towards it could just mean like working towards this working towards a commitment with somebody could be working towards a commitment with somebody what else the nine of pentacles and the emperor Yeah. I feel like you might have met your match a bit. This is what I feel like you met your match. It's not the same suit, but I feel like it's the energy that matches yours. There's like a frequency, a frequency match here. Because this is like confidence, knowing what you want, investing in that. This is you. This is also pre, like pre-Empress energy uh, a little bit. And, and I think that this is you not being afraid to go for what you want this is you being good on your own and i get the same kind of energy off of the emperor and when i said the sun i could see the the aries sign and that's the that's aries and it's mars energy true but it does look a heck of a lot like sun right um yeah this is so interesting to me could be an aries um well, they could have strong Mars placements, Mars or Aries placements. Um, but this, I, I get that this is like, it's something that you've always wanted. But I think that first you had to get into this place of you being able to go for what you wanted and to understand what to let go of, what to invest in and what not to. Because then that draws in someone that's at the same level and frequency as you. Um, and I think that the, the part of the thing that like, there's one thing to be, it's one thing to be, um, sex positive and all of that stuff. And to have these relationships in your life where the expectations are very clear, but when something changes in you and you start to want something like the 10 of pentacles and you recognize that like the energy that you've mutually agreed to share is a page, um, because it's not invested, it's not really going anywhere. It's got to change, right? It has to change. Otherwise you stay stagnant. You stay stagnant and something just doesn't happen. Um, mm -hmm. But I get this sort of like slow breaking free and leaving behind that burden. Um, and that could be something that you're doing this full moon. Uh, so I think that's important. But I think what's also important right now, um, what's also important right now to you is that you are, um, you're seeing your worth, Scorpio. You're seeing your worth and that's bringing in the kind of intimacy that will see the green beneath the sediment that might have built up over time. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm going to pull from the chakra deck here. Oh my God, there we go. Individuation. I recognize others as different aspects of consciousness, no greater or lesser than myself, all journeying at our own pace. 
I acknowledge, accept, and celebrate difference as I go inward to connect with my deepest self, my truth, desires, and joy. I am a unique spark of the divine, expressing my own unique vibration and life purpose. I follow my own path. This is really great. This is quite lovely energy. I feel a bit like there's like a, a sense of not necessarily trusting that happiness is available. Maybe. I'm trying to... It's... It, We'll see. It's like trusting, like it's like you knew that happiness was accessible to you, but in a way it's like there was something about this relationship that you had um, or some in some way of being. It can even just be a way of being. Um, this way of being where we chose things that were the lesser options for us, um, knowing that it wouldn't produce what we wanted, but that's because we were trying to keep what we wanted away. So we go for the ones, we go for the things that don't necessarily work because we don't believe that something could work, right? So that's where we get into these cycles. And I feel like this is you recognizing, um, that like, it's, it's like, it's okay to follow the path that you choose, possibility all is possible for me in this universe of infinite potential i release all conditioning and limits that i have placed in my path unknowingly i believe invest and intend in the possibility of a positive peaceful and loving outcome all is possible possibility yeah there's like this limitation that you placed on yourself. And that's why you went for this like devil energy. I believe, invest, and intend in the possibility of a positive, peaceful, and loving outcome. Invest and intend. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? I feel like we just saw a little bit of like the green of the cedar and it's really beautiful, but it might make you feel a little bit called in Scorpio. Enlightenment. Um, I'll pull from the other deck here i i feel a bit so i'm feeling a bit scorpio like this enlightenment is really about you becoming more aware of the decisions that you've made and seeing what is worth it and what is not worth it and this is like a clarity about what you want this is a real clarity about what you're what you're looking for no two flowers are the same yet all are beautiful in their own way Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just going to pitch it around here a couple times. Uh, let's try that again. Comparisons are odious because they presume all other things are equal, which is never the case between me and you, the universe. No two flowers are the same, yet all are beautiful in their own way. Maybe you've been kind of falling into this comparison trap a little bit, Scorpio. Like you've been feeling that there's this sense of like, like you... <sighs> Not that you don't have because you know that you do three, 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 three on the time. It's like, you know, you have, but it's like, this is like the feminine way. Like let the feminine lead the way. It's like letting this, this tender part of you lead. I feel like it's not like <laughs> let the tender part of you lead. It might make you feel a little uncomfortable. Um, but like when you get there, pff, my goodness, do you ever just go right? You're off to the races um that's cancerian energy as well so i think that this is like it's like letting the feminine lead the way is in part um listening to your heart a little bit and surrendering surrendering let this let somebody see that see you with the sediment off like they don't have to do the work of knocking the sediment off necessarily because that can be codependent it's like let them see you without the sediment on you let them see the green. 
heart space. Wow, that I didn't just realize that now, but but still Scorpio, let them see the sediment free you. Entertain the possibility that someone might want to do that without the need for like without, you know, wanting something from you. So when I respect my money, my money respects me. I see this card as like an investment card, like that 10 of pentacles, right? When when I respect my investment, my like it's it's like it's about respecting yourself by understanding what you're investing your energy and time in, right? And understanding what you also deem to be a currency because if you, you know, think about um things like and I say it like this because of the the way things are here if you see sex as a currency then that's all you're ever going to have to pay and that's all that that will be right if you see um if you see tenderness and affection and and real love as as currency then that will be what you begin to be able to exchange energy in that's the space that you'll be able to exchange energy in I can release ancient pain simply by feeling it. That's where I get this like low key ancestor help here. Um, maybe high key. I don't know, depending on where you're at. But that queen of swords, that queen of swords, it's clarity. And, but I also see it as like an ant that's helping you from, from beyond or an ant that's helping you in this life. There's some kind of ancestor guide in this life, but also one who's passed or, or something along those lines. I can release ancient pain simply by feeling it. Yeah. Scorpio, this was your reading. I hope that you are able to make um, some excellent choices, uh, you know, this Scorpio full moon that honor you, that, that really, that honor you, right? I'm thinking the energies, these energies that honor you. Ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles, ten of cups that honor you. If this resonated, Scorpio, please like and subscribe. It helps me to grow this channel. But this is your reading. So wherever uh, if you can connect with me throughout the, the month in different ways on the channel. So please do check that out. But wherever this finds you on the time space continuum, my dear Scorpios, I hope it finds you very well wrapped up in love and so much light. All right. Take care, my lovelies. Bye.